The hybrid drill is available in 3, 4, 4.8 and 6 metre widths. The machine is a mounted design to keep some of the weight on the back of the tractor and to make the machine as light as possible. One of the key benefits is if you do get into a bit of a tricky patch, you can always lift the machine out and you don't become stuck as you may be with a trailed unit. The machine features our own design tungsten carbide faced front points. They have 5mm of tungsten carbide down the facing of them and they're a throwaway tine. The benefit of this is that there is no weak spot on it because it's a one piece complete tine. It goes through the ground and wears very, very evenly up it. The tine is adjustable pure and simply by pulling the pin out and putting it down to the depth which you need it for that particular crop. With rapeseed you'd be typically around about 6 inches deep, whereas with wheat you'd probably only be around 4 inches deep. It's very simple, find a position and drop the pin in. There are two stone protection options available on the hybrid drill, either shear bolts or alternatively as this machine features a hydraulic stone brake back which is held in the ground at around 600 kilograms pressure until it hits a stone and trips back and then kicks back into action straight away. The machine uses a tine system on the rear for seeding. It's an interchangeable coulter and it can be from anywhere from 7 inches right down to a singular inch. So 7, 5, 3 and 1 inch. The seeding boot at the back is also interchangeable. This is the splitter boot. It splits the flow of the seed either side of the drainage channel which is created by the front tine, leaving the seed on the banks and spread across a wide 7 inch band. This would typically be used with a 7 inch and also the 5 inch coulter. If you're establishing spring beans for instance you may wish to use the 3 inch spoon. The 3 inch spoon is merely 3 inch wide on the front and we have a special square boot on the back. This is ideal for getting down around 2-3 inches deep when you're establishing your spring beans. For winter beans we use an inch wide knife similar to the front tine. It simply goes along behind the front tine, creates a ledge within the slot created by the front tine and drops the bean on it. The bean is then too deep for the crows to get to it around 5 inches deep, but not at the bottom of the channel where the water will go. There's a spreader boot which is additionally available for the machine. The spreader boot gives a nice wide channel at the back of it which is completely open rather than jetting the seed either side. In very wet conditions you typically use this but I am talking extreme circumstances here. Due to the mounted design of our machine we use centrally mounted depth wheels which run on the straw and stubble which hasn't actually been turned. This is absolutely perfect because the worst thing that you can do is to run over freshly turned soil and press it down. There's always more moisture in unturned soil. In normal dry conditions we'd use the batter board. However, in very wet and treacherous conditions we typically use these harrows. There's less chance of mud sticking and plugging on them, so it's absolutely perfect. They do a wonderful job of levelling off and once the soil has had a chance to dry, that's the appropriate time to run over it with a roll to get the consolidation and to break down any lumps without squishing them like plasticine. A double toolbar is now available for all hybrid drills. It's retrofittable and it consists of a middle bar which allows adjustment on the front section and also the rear section of tines. The rear bar has its own adjustment as well so you can adjust the angle on all of them according to the conditions. It's also possible to have batter boards and harrows, batter boards and batter boards, harrows and harrows or customers who are on light soils can have a press wheel followed by a harrow but we'd only recommend it on light soils. Pre-emergence markers can be fitted as an option to the hybrid drills. They're constantly pressured through the fan circuit which means that they can be used manually or with a GPS system. The tine is V-shaped and clears the soil from the furrow from the tine in front of it leaving a clear mark behind the drill.
Slug pelleters are available on the Claydon drill in either 130 or 65 litre capacity. They use a spinning plate and can be controlled in the cab from either the Artemis system or alternatively a separate control box. The width of the spread can be adjusted and the application rate can be changed from the control box in the cab. We find that spreading all over the surface is the best way as that's where the slugs are active. Larger models of our hybrid drill benefit from folding down to under 3 metres for road transport. They also benefit from the Accord metering system, which is driven by a radar and electronic motor using the RDS Artemis system. The RDS Artemis system also benefits from mapping capabilities, tram lining, plus and minus seed rate manually on the move. Our drill comes, as you can see it behind me, with marker arms, front points, A-blades. Essentially, the machine is right ready to use as it comes into your yard.